Good morning, my loves. I'm so happy you could join me for this very cozy, crisp autumn morning. I've really been craving a lovely, slow morning filled with self-care, a little bit of me time to recharge my batteries. This would be a perfect little routine for a self-care day or maybe a Sunday morning. It's definitely time to get yourself a warm drink, light a candle, get under a blanket and take 15 minutes to just relax. of the day honestly is there anything better than that first sip of coffee in the morning i was so excited to find this pumpkin spice oat milk on our weekly food shop and i've been absolutely loving adding this to my morning coffee it gives a subtle hint of autumn then i decided to head upstairs and enjoy my morning coffee in the bath which is such a treat i never have morning baths but like i said it was a slow self-care kind of morning so i thought a nice warm bubble bath would be absolutely perfect After a lovely long relaxing soak in the bath, it's now time for my morning skincare routine. I'm just popping on some of the Elemis Rose Serum and then I'm using some of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream mixed with the Drunk Elephant Sunshine Drops, which leaves my skin so bronzy and glowy, perfect for a no makeup day like today. I'm also popping on some brow and lash serum and a little bit of lip tint which are also essentials for no makeup days. It's time to absolutely lather my body in one of my favourite seasonal products which is the one and only vanilla pumpkin body butter from the body shop. I treat myself to this every year and the scent is just autumn in a tub. It makes me feel so nostalgic and it leaves my skin so smooth and moisturized. It's such a gorgeous thick cream for the colder months. I am having the coziest little autumn morning this morning. I'm having a little solo self-care morning, which are incredibly rare these days. Noah is actually at nursery today. And usually the days he's at nursery, I am running around trying to get as many things done as I possibly can. But I thought this morning, let's just have a really slow, cozy, autumnal morning and I thought we could spend it together. So I'm very, very honoured to say today's video is very kindly sponsored by Headspace and I just feel really 
really happy to be able to introduce you guys to something that I feel like is really going to help you like it has done me. So if you haven't heard of Headspace, it is an amazing app which you can actually download for 60 days for free if you click the link in the description box or you scan the QR code which I'll pop on screen now for you guys. So Headspace is an app which is all about everyday mindfulness. It's full of meditation, sleep meditation, morning meditation, midday meditation, you can learn how to relax, how to de-stress, how to help everyday anxiety. There truly is so many amazing things on the Headspace app. As you guys know, I have been very open about how my mental health has been over the past years. And this past year, I have experienced some extreme lows and I use the Headspace app every single day. A few meditations that I've really been loving recently are there is a certain meditation which you can do which helps you become a really mindful present parent which I feel like was just one of my goals for this year. And another one which I really love is everyday anxiety and it really helps me manage that. If I'm having a particularly anxious day, I'll pop my meditation on. It's only four minutes long, so it's really easy to just kind of like slot into everyday life. And in a way, my Headspace app is kind of like my savior in many ways. If I am feeling a certain way and I need a little bit of time out, I will choose one of the meditations and it just really helps pick me up. My meditation of choice today is going to be one called Everyday Gratitude. I do this one quite a lot in the mornings because I feel like it just sets me up for a really productive, mindful day. If I wake up for any reason feeling not great, this certain meditation just helps shift my mindset. Um, so I love to do this one in the morning. It's only four minutes long. So I feel like it's really manageable to slot into every day. I mean, sometimes our mornings can be very hectic with the toddler. So sometimes this one will come into play at Noah's nap time, when Noah's at nursery. Like I said, for like four minutes is just really easy to slot into my day. Before I do my everyday gratitude meditation, I wanted to share with you guys a breathing technique, which is so simple, but I feel like this helps me every single day, whether I'm feeling stressed, overwhelmed, whether I just need a minute to myself, whether I am feeling overstimulated, when Noah has about 20 different toys, all doing different things, or just, like I said, if I just need a minute, I need a minute to think, I need a minute to pause everyday life, I will do this breathing technique. I'll usually do it for like a minute. It does not take long and it's something that you can do out and about as well. You don't need to be in the comfort of your own home. And since I learned this, I learned this breathing technique from Headspace, I have been able to use it multiple times a day and it just helps me to take a step back and ground myself. So I wanna share it with you guys because if it can help just one of you, that makes me so happy. Super simple, you can be absolutely anywhere. And all you need to do is take a super, super, super deep breath until your lungs are like so full in through your nose. And then you need to hold it for four seconds. And then exhale. And really exhale until you feel all of the air. This is actually really hard to do and talk. You feel all of the air get out of your lungs until they're completely empty you want to also pause for four seconds so essentially all you're doing is breathing in through your nose super super deep breath and hold your breath for four seconds and then exhale through your mouth and when you've exhaled all of the air pause for a further four seconds and then another breath and i feel like this just calms my body try it now give that breathing technique a try and let me know if it works for you I personally feel it's super important to have certain mindfulness tools handy. Not forcing or trying to control anything. And with your next breath, if it's comfortable for you, allow your eyes to your breath. Perhaps taking a gentle deep breath in through your nose. if they were closed. 
and bringing your attention to your body and your surroundings. breakfast is one of my current favourites. I'm going to make apple and cinnamon baked oats which are so easy and delicious. A really warming cosy breakfast perfect for our favourite season. I will leave the recipe down below for these in the description box. Let me know if you try them. Then I decided to get out the house for a little while as that's always good for the mind. I popped on my coat and my cosy Ugg boots and headed over to Starbucks to pick up one of my new favourite things in the whole world, which is a pumpkin cream cold brew. They are so delicious and I just crave them constantly. Once I had my pumpkin cold brew in hand, it was time to go for a lovely autumn walk. Going for walks is one of my favourite things to do this time of year. I love all of the crunchy leaves and the trees changing colour. There's something that just feels so lovely and nostalgic about walks in the autumn. Then I decided to pop on a mindful activity from my Headspace app. Today I listened to Create Your Own Parenting Mantra, which I found really interesting and it was nice to do something productive with my mind whilst out for a lovely walk. 
Anyway, my loves, I really hope you enjoyed spending a cosy autumn morning with me and I will catch up with you all in my next video. Bye-bye.